Okay, so funny story is I recorded a whole video about backpacks, but I haven't uploaded it because it was kind of, uh, it didn't cover everything. It was kind of horrible. So check this out. I've got a second little guy here. He's just a little guy hanging out. He's going to help us show off the backpacks. So let's cover everything backpacks really quick. Okay, now I'm assuming that if anyone's watching this at all, they already know most of the stuff about Outward. So, sorry if this is redundant, but in Outward, your character can only carry what's in their pockets unless they have a backpack. So, pay attention to the character on the top screen. Right now, I've got my current equipment. That's not affecting anything. I mean, it'll affect my stats, but don't worry. Now, what can I carry on me? simply what's in my pockets here. Each of these things have a different weight. In the bottom right of the menu you see the weight. 2.5 units, 3 units, 4 units. All these add up to 12 and a half out of 18 is my full carry weight. We're all on the same page? Perfect. So if I want to carry more stuff, I throw on a backpack. Boom. Now I can carry another 75 units kilograms, pounds, whatever you want. And this backpack has a lot of stuff in it. Now, what we're going to do is, in this game, you'll be exploring, and if you have, there's a lot of different types of characters you can make, but if you have a melee character, like this guy is, you're going to want to be able to be mobile and dodge around and move. Let me get my camera set up so that you can see the distance on the top screen. Okay, so check out how like we can dodge so quick. Perfect. Now, whenever you throw on a backpack, the vast majority of backpacks are going to slow the speed of your dodge roll, and they also remove your iframes. Practically every backpack does this. See, it will even say it here in the description. Equipping this backpack slows your dodge and removes your dodge invincibility. Now that's what every backpack does. The preservation backpack for some reason just has the most accurate description. Because if you look at, say, the Alchemist backpack, it says the same thing. Slows your dodge. This will also remove your iframes. Um, I'm showing off these random backpacks because they look nice or they've got like good utility. The Alchemist backpack, it's 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 cute. What can I say? It's just a little like spice box. It preserves your ingredients and stuff, you know, throw your food in there. It's very useful. Preservation backpack is the exact same thing except for it carries more weight and it makes your food last even longer, so it's technically better. Um it's it looks okay. It's unique. So you can only get it in once per playthrough. You have to do a quest for it. That's pretty cool. Another backpack right here, the Prospector backpack. It will also slow down your roll. It carries 75. Now that's what the Preservation backpack carries as well. But you can buy this backpack from certain vendors, so it's much easier to obtain. You can have a few in a playthrough. So that's why it's like what makes it so nice. It also has this um, spot, this hook at the top where the lantern's supposed to be hanging from, but it's uh, <laughs> it's being a little goofy. This whole thing is great when you're in caves because it'll actually help you spot traps in front of you. There's a lot of different backpacks in this game. They have a bunch of different stats that are sometimes hidden. With the Prospector backpack, if we take a look at it, large backpack used by explorers, um, equipping this backpack slows your dodge. We also know it removes your iframes, carries 75 pounds. But some of these backpacks will also protect you from damage, and all these backpacks will also protect your items from damage. Because if you get hit in the back, your items will take a little bit of damage to their durability. Um, not something you really need to worry about, but another factor to you know consider. Um, there's another backpack I want to show off here, the Scaled Satchel. So we've checked out three heavy backpacks that let you carry a lot, that let you position your lantern in a different spot, that let you um, 
what's the word? Just uh, preserve food. So you've got all these different utilities. This backpack carries 60, which is a good amount. You get it by crafting. Um, you know, I, if I'm not going into too much detail about how to get these, it's because the wiki is going to be much more useful than this video, quite frankly. If you want to know, like, how to get the preservation backpack. So a short description is that when you start the game, the conditions to do that is uh, this fortress will start threatening the town, the very first town. That happens about, I want to say, it's either, so I think it starts right after one of your main quests. Like you join a faction and then after the first quest or so with them, someone says, hey, uh, you should go back to town and check it out. Once they say that, you've only got, I think, 20 days. Uh, moral of the story is you go to the bandit camp, Vendeville Fortress. Uh, you have to start that quest where they say, hey, the town is in danger. That's the only way the witch will give you this quest. Otherwise, she'll be hostile. It's very obnoxious. But the scaled satchel, you just make a primitive satchel, and then you get some scaled leather, three of them to be precise. And what you do is you would put the primitive backpack here in the first slot. In fact, here, I'll just show you. I should have... Oh, no. Once you make a primitive satchel, I don't have on this character, you put it here, and then one scaled leather, the second, and then the third scaled leather, craft it and you'll have one of these bad boys unlike a primitive satchel you can hang a lantern from it boom so it's already better it carries 60 pounds which is a lot more and uh, it doesn't slow down your dodge roll a lot of people like this backpack I can't remember but I think if you check the wiki it's got a hidden stat where it does um, you know reduce food decay slightly something like that um, I might be wrong but that's that's how I remember it working maybe I'm just losing my mind now uh, one thing before we go is this is how backpacks work for standard players like this guy right here bag boy who has no perks whatsoever um, let's go ahead and show see on the bottom screen we're gonna go to skills and he's got no passives um, check out the top screen really quick I have feather dodge Dodging takes half as much stamina, and uh, you can dodge unimpeded with any backpack. Unimpeded means not only are you not slowed down, but you still have your iframes. So even with this big heavy backpack, boom, we're dodging. People are we're dodging through attacks, forward through, and getting behind people, and we can use that with any backpack. Like I said, some backpacks in this game have other effects where they glow or where they give you just straight defense, like armor, to your character when you wear them. Um, and then there's um, backpacks that just let you carry a ton of weight. Uh, I don't want to spoil anything, but I already have. The DLC, of course, adds new backpacks. Uh, part of the game is exploring and experimenting and having fun, but no one wants to get burnt out or frustrated, so if you have questions, you can always ask and always check the wiki. There's a bunch of great channels on YouTube. This is just, I want to talk about this game, and I just think that this game's fun, and I think the backpacks are cool, and I really like the lanterns. It's just, uh, there's a bunch of different lanterns, too. So, like, uh, the lantern we have here, it's lasted for hours, and I'll, I don't know if I'll ever need to change the battery, really. It's insane. Uh, there's just a lot of stuff going on in this game, and uh, I'm stoked for the sequel. You know, before this game took over uh, my free time, I was really stuck in Dragon's Dogma 2. And, uh, yeah, I just like games where, like, you pack up and you go out on an adventure and you've got, like, a light and, you know, Dragon's Dogma has this area where there's, like, a canyon and there's harpies and, like, the wind is blowing really hard and, like, if you don't have the right passive skill, like, or if your character's not heavy enough, you get blown around, like... It's just, I don't know, I just like games like this and Morrowind and stuff and, you know, it's just fun to talk about it, really. It never gets old. Uh, 